Well, hello, friends. I'm going to work off of two cameras today. Let's see how I can do this. If my iPad stays up, we're running both on Stonefeather Roadsters, which is one of our private groups, and then I'm running on the Stonefeather Road uh, site at the same time. Feel free to join uh, the Stonefeather Roadsters if you're not on that. And Stonefeather Roadsters, you can join and just log into the Stonefeather Road feed, which is a public group as well. So here I am. I'm going to go two ways. I need my crew here. All I have is Stony and Diesel. But at any rate, wanted to show you uh, today. We have a soggy day here in uh in uh, Montana. I wanted to shoot this morning when the snow was kind of coming down, but it, I was buying jewelry this morning, so I didn't have time to shoot this morning. So I want to um, show you one of my favorite um, pieces. Actually, from the last last year, uh, we picked up a couple of pieces, and I fell in love with this piece for a couple of reasons. Um, one is it's a one-size-fits-all. Anytime we do a one-size-fits-all, I love it because we can fit our size 2 customer all the way up to our size 3XL. We also sell this piece to men. Um, so it has kind of a nice crossover for us also. And we call it the toggle coat. It has two uh, toggle buttons that you can uh, toggle button through. Um, and I'll show you in a little bit too how you can leave it open. Uh, but I love it because it's that great throw it on and go. It's that cuddle, feels good kind of a piece. It's enough that it's over your shoulder. So it has that kind of a um, cuddly, snuggly, uh, warm kind of keep you. Um, warm, but not too heavy. It's only 20% wool. The rest is poly and acrylic. Um, and it's just, um, it's a free form. So in this particular case, I have it just, I have it belted in the front. I've made it more into kind of a jacket, uh, which I kind of love it that way for it dresses it up in a different way. Um, and it comes in a multitude of colors. It's made in the USA, out of Utah. The fabrics are from Italy. There's everything that's right about this piece. And it really, it transcends into all different kinds of climates. So whether you're down in Arizona or whether you are up in the northern tundra or whether you're in the central states or Texas or wherever, this piece is really going to serve you well as a very functional um, item that you're going to like get a lot of mileage out of. So um, one of the things that um, I love, another thing that I love about it is that this collar is really versatile. So I love scarves. So scarves are that piece that you can leave them open and have them be very relaxed off your shoulder, um, or you can bind it right up around your neck. Now that's the cool part about this is you can have it almost not off the shoulder, depending on how small your shoulders are, it could be, but it has that really open um, uh, peel at the top. So whether if you had just a, a boat neck shirt on or a little tank underneath, this is all gonna show as open skin and you can do a great necklace, a great choker, certainly great earrings with it. Um, but I, how I came out in it is, you know, tundra living <laughs> when it's chilly, and it is where you need something a little bit more around your neck. You can just kind of play it up and just tuck it in the way you go. That's what I love about it. So the other thing, um, because it's got, you've got a lot of, so this is the width of the, of the toggle cape on the front and the back. So if I undo this from the belt, which I will in a minute, you'll see that the front is as wide as the back and they're equidistant. Now you could make it shorter in front, longer in back, however you wanted to do it. You can make it a high low because you can play with it. Um, but what, I did with this belt is for warmth. I tucked it all the way around in through the back. Now I'm a small, I'm probably a size six, so I can tuck and get by with a lot of it there. If you're a size uh, 10 or 12, you're going to tuck just a little less. It will still work. And even when you're a size three X, you can still tuck in the front and it's going to be this nice vertical line. And you're going to have through the hip line showing, do a great black legging, black, black pant, denim, all kinds of different things, and you can still belt the front. You could belt the back too, that's a possibility. I don't like it as much. I've, I've worked enough with this coat or this cape that I really, I love the back flow. I love the line that it gives. It's just a really clean, good piece uh, to wear this way. Okay, so that's it with the belt. I'm gonna take the belt off. I could have started without the belt, but I took some time to tuck it in right so you could see how it optimally looked. And when I'm in the camera, I never know if I can quite hit that. So here it is, just open. I love it just as much this way. I could see jumping on a horse and going for a horseback ride with it, um, going for a walk, um, just literally if your time uh, depleted for a day and you just need to throw something on and go, throw it on, button the two buttons, go out the door, get on your way. Um, if you have a little pumpkin in a little baby or a little puppy or something you want to carry underneath, you can papoose it and it's going to just be a very versatile, awesome piece. Definitely has the influence of the Southwestern, um, but it's really um, that feel of a 
a mix of great colors, a mix of great texture. This particular one has a fringe on it. A couple of them in the collection, when you go to the link on the Facebook or on our website page, you will see a couple of them do have a fringe bottom. Most of them do not. Most of them have this bound edge, <clears throat> which is what uh, this particular brand is known for. Okay, then I'm gonna show it to you. So I'm going for wow and I'm undoing it. Whoa to wow. We're gonna go to whoa. Whoa is still great. Whoa is just the base look itself. And so with it open, again, it has a beautiful, just a vertical feel, almost like a duster kind of a feel for me. All open, very, very drivable, very movable. Even when I had it belted, I had an ample amount of room. I was reaching my hat off my shelf and grabbing accessories and things while I was getting ready. And it still had plenty of room um, for me to do so, even though I had belted it here, which sometimes restricts, you know, an outfit, but it didn't restrict it at all. It's this because this this piece has a, a abundant amount of room in it, so you can wear it open like this. You can belt underneath, which is another option, and this will give you interest of just bringing the accessory down. So here. You can see just with the concho or whatever your belt buckle might happen to be, kind of connects your ears to here and it gives you that nice fluid look there as well. The other thing you can start to play with here, and I often will do this and really kind of love this look, is just an up and over the shoulder like so. Um, so if I'm walking and it's windy, I'll throw it up and over, grab through here and I'm good to go, all right? You can also then buckle the belt here and that gives you yet another option. Bring that around as far as you can to the back or purposely bring it forward and have that nice line that it creates. Do you see the difference that made? Just that little bit of an adjustment. Here's the line, here is it over the hip. I kind of like this one when you're gonna do it this way. I kind of like the line coming forward because I think it gives you a little more linear uh, this way. And then I don't know if I showed you the back yet, but here is the back. So you look as good going as you do coming. So this uh, particular piece, I believe is on uh, the site right now at 179. It's a great value for this kind of um, quality. You'll be wearing this for the next you know, 10, 15, 20 years. And people are still gonna stop you and say, that's a great, uh, they're gonna call it a shawl, a poncho, a cape, wrap. <laughs> There's a whole lot of uh, descriptives of this particular piece. But I will say the one is it's really an awesome piece to own. So click over to our website, take a look at um, the other patterns that we have. I will show you one other one because the store, uh, Michelle tossed this one in. And this is a new color for us uh, this year. And this is really equally beautiful, just in the real browns and golds and oranges and reds kind of way. So here's another color and you'll see that one featured on the site as well. And that one, <clears throat> excuse me, is named, I'll give you a name for that. Uh, that one's Desert Sunset. And this one is, uh, I think it's Sawtooth, Sawtooth Fringed. Uh, but there's about six or seven others because I loved it. We jumped into it rather heavily. So go and grab that one while we have the quantity. Um, and we'll be coming and showing you some other uh, outerwear pieces uh, in the next uh, day and days to come yet. Thanks, friends. Take care.